Godfather, released in 1972, is widely hailed by fans, film critics, scholars, and industry organizations as one of the greatest films ever made. This consensus is underscored by the film's impressive 11 Oscar nominations, including wins for Best Picture, Best Actor for Marlon Brando, and Best Adapted Screenplay by Francis Ford Coppola and Mario Puzo. Beyond its critical acclaim, The Godfather is celebrated as a masterpiece of the gangster genre and one of the most influential films in cinematic history. Over the past five decades, the film has unfortunately lost many of its talented actors, from those in leading roles to those in supporting parts. Regardless of their screen time, every character portrayed by these actors has become iconic, contributing significantly to the film's lasting legacy. In today's video, we come together to honor them for their contributions to this epic film work. Marlon Brando Character of Don Vito Corleone in The Godfather is legendary. He embodies a unique mix of ruthless authority and paternal wisdom, deeply valuing loyalty and respect. Despite his criminal undertakings, he follows a strict moral code, offering protection and justice to those within his sphere. His iconic presence is defined by his distinctive voice, thoughtful mannerisms, and the famous line, I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse, showcasing his persuasive and commanding nature. Brando's illustrious career also includes memorable roles such as the rebellious biker in The Wild One, 1953, a performance that became emblematic of the era's generation gap. His Broadway performance in A Streetcar Named Desire, along with his roles in Last Tango in Paris, 1972, and Apocalypse Now, 1979. Brando passed away on July 1, 2004, at the age of 80, due to respiratory failure caused by pulmonary fibrosis and congestive heart failure at UCLA Medical Center. James Kahn James Kahn's as the eldest son of Don Vito Corleone and the acting underboss of the Corleone crime family, Sonny is known for his fiery temper and impulsive nature. His quickness to anger often results in violent outbursts, setting him apart from his father's more calculated and strategic approach. His aggressive approach to conflict makes him a formidable figure in both the family and the criminal underworld. However, this same aggression ultimately leads to his tragic downfall highlighting the dangers of unchecked anger and the vulnerabilities within the Corleone family. James Kahn's career began with his debut in the 1963 film, Irma La Douce. Kahn also gained recognition for his role in the NBC series, Las Vegas, where he starred from 2003 to 2007. On July 6, 2022, Kahn passed away at the age of 82 at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles due to a heart attack caused by coronary artery disease. Sterling Hayden Captain Mark McCluskey, a corrupt and brutal police officer who colludes with the criminal underworld, particularly the Tattaglia crime family. Known for his aggressive and unethical behavior, he exploits his authority to protect and further the interests of the mob, often resorting to violence and intimidation. His character is devoid of moral scruples, willingly engaging in illegal activities for personal gain. McCluskey's role is crucial, especially in the scene where he assaults Michael Corleone, which propels Michael deeper into the family's criminal activities. Sterling Hayden's illustrious career includes roles in several films recognized by the National Film Registry for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance, such as The Asphalt Jungle, 1950, Johnny Guitar, 1954, Dr. Strangelove, 1964, and The Long Goodbye, 1973. Hayden passed away from prostate cancer at the age of 70 on May 23, 1986, in Sausalito. John Cazali Fredo Corleone, the second eldest son of Don Vito Corleone. Unlike his brothers Michael and Sonny, Fredo grapples with insecurity and a deep-seated desire to prove himself. His lack of confidence and poor decision-making skills make him ill-suited for the harsh demands of the family's criminal empire. Often overshadowed by his more capable siblings, Fredo yearns for his father's approval, leading him to form alliances that ultimately harm the family. John Cazali's career, though tragically short, was marked by excellence. He appeared in five films within seven years, The Godfather, 1972, The Conversation, 1974, The Godfather Part II, 1974, Dog Day Afternoon, 1975, and The Deer Hunter, 1978. Remarkably, all of these films were nominated for Oscars. Sadly, on March 13, 1978, Kazali passed away at the age of 42 due to lung cancer. Richard Conte 
Richard Conti's portrayal of Emilio Barzini embodies the essence of a powerful and cunning mafia rival to the Corleone family. Barzini is depicted as a calculating figure, driven by the ambition to expand his influence and dominance within the criminal underworld. Despite maintaining a facade of respectability, Barzini's ruthless pursuit of his ambitions renders him a formidable adversary. His portrayal encapsulates the ruthless nature of organized crime and the ruthless tactics employed by those competing for power. Barzini's strategic prowess and deceptive maneuvers pose a significant threat to the Corleone family, driving the tension and conflict central to the film's narrative. Moreover, Richard Conti's career extends beyond The Godfather. He graced the screen in films like I'll Cry Tomorrow, Ocean's Eleven, The Big Family, 1973, Pete, Pearl and the Pole, 1973, and My Brother Anastasia, 1973. Conte passed away on April 15, 1975, due to a severe heart attack and stroke at the age of 65. Al Latiri In The Godfather, Al Latiri masterfully brings to life the character of Virgil Salazzo, a cunning and ambitious narcotics trafficker with strong ties to the Tataglia crime family. Salazzo emerges as a pivotal antagonist in the film, driven by his relentless pursuit to expand his drug operations and establish a firm foothold in the lucrative underworld of New York City. His calculated approach leads him to approach Don Vito Corleone with a proposition to enter the drug trade, seeking the Don's political influence and protection. However, when Vito declines his offer, Salazzo resorts to violence, igniting a fierce conflict with the Corleone family that sets off a chain of dramatic events propelling the film's plot forward. Latiri's career encompassed several notable films beyond The Godfather. He made his debut in The Night of the After Day, 1969, and went on to feature in films like the Getaway, 1972, and Go Gorilla Go, 1976. Tragically, Latiri passed away from a heart attack on October 18, 1975, at the age of 47, in New York City. Rudy Bond Rudy Bond takes on the role of Cuneo, a member of the rival Tataglia crime family. While Cuneo may be a minor character in the film, his presence serves as a crucial element in depicting the tensions and rivalries within the Mafia world. As part of the Tataglia faction, Cuneo aims to challenge the authority of the Corleone family, adding fuel to the escalating conflict between the two organizations. Cuneo's character embodies the loyalty and dedication to his own group, showcasing the deep-rooted loyalties prevalent in the Mafia underworld. Furthermore, Rudy Bond's contributions extend beyond his role as Cuneo. He appeared in acclaimed films such as a Ship Named Desire, 1951, On the Harbor, 1954, and Twelve Angry Men, 1957, showcasing his versatility and talent as an actor. Bond passed away from a heart attack outside the box office of a theater in Denver, Colorado, on March 29, 1982, at the age of 69. Al Martino Character of Johnny Fontaine, a talented and charismatic singer and actor closely associated with the Corleone family. Despite his remarkable talent, Fontaine grapples with various obstacles, including interference from rival industry figures and personal struggles like addiction. Throughout the film, Fontaine's journey is intricately linked with the Corleone family, particularly with Don Vito Corleone, who serves as a mentor and paternal figure to him. Fontaine's bond with the Corleones sheds light on the complex dynamics between entertainment and organized crime, as the family leverages their influence to propel Fontaine's career forward while expecting loyalty and favors in return. Dot. Furthermore, Martino achieved significant success as a singer during the 1950s to the mid-1970s, earning acclaim as one of the greatest Italian-American pop singers. Martino passed away from a heart attack on October 13, 2009, at his home in Springfield, Pennsylvania, at the age of 82. Richard Bright Richard Bright brings to life the character of Neri, an enforcer and bodyguard for the Corleone family. Despite his limited dialogue, Neri's presence commands attention, establishing him as a formidable force within the Corleone ranks. Neri's character epitomizes the unyielding allegiance and commitment to the Corleone family, solidifying his position as a trusted and indispensable member of their inner circle. His actions significantly contribute to the family's power and influence as he maneuvers through the perilous landscape of organized crime with resolute determination. Additionally, Richard Bright appeared in notable productions such as The Panic in Needle Park, 1971, once Upon a Time in America, 1984, and the television series, One Life to Live, 1993, as well as Law and Order.
Bright's life came to a sudden and untimely end when he was struck and killed by a tour bus driver on Manhattan's Upper West Side on February 18, 2006, at the age of 68. John Marley Character of Jack Woltz is portrayed as a man of great power, marked by his temperamental demeanor and relentless pursuit of success. His involvement with the Corleone family becomes tumultuous when he refuses to cast the talented Johnny Fontaine in a pivotal film role. Sparking the ire of the Corleones, especially Don Vito Corleone, who seeks retribution for the snub against his godson. Woltz's character serves as a stark reminder of the repercussions of defying the Corleone dynasty, as his defiance leads to a chilling and unforgettable sequence in the film. Moreover, Marley's acting career extended beyond The Godfather, with notable appearances in films like Faces, 1968, and Love Story, 1970. In the late 1970s, he ventured into television, featuring in the third season of the popular series, The Incredible Hulk. On May 22, 1984, Marley passed away at the age of 76 following open-heart surgery. He was laid to rest at Cedar Park Cemetery in Emerson, New Jersey. Lenny Montana Character Luca Brassi, a formidable and influential enforcer for the Corleone crime family. His presence commands respect in the world of organized crime striking fear into adversaries while earning admiration from allies. Brassi's loyalty to the Colleonas knows no bounds, as he executes their commands with ruthless efficiency. Despite his intimidating facade, Brassi reveals a vulnerable side, especially in his interactions with the Don, whom he deeply reveres. Before venturing into acting, Montana enjoyed a successful career as a professional wrestler and served as an enforcer for the Colombo crime family. Beyond, The Godfather, he appeared in productions like Contract on Cherry Street, 1977, and Magnum, Pi. 1982, Montana passed away on May 12, 1992, due to a heart attack in Lindenhurst, New York, at the age of 66. Abe Vigoda Character Sal Tessio, a trusted member of the Corleone crime family and a close confidant of Don Vito Corleone. He holds a pivotal role in the family's clandestine activities, overseeing various criminal endeavors and maintaining crucial ties with other mafia factions. Tessio's character is defined by his astuteness and pragmatism, skillfully navigating the intricate web of mob politics while safeguarding the Colleona's interests. Despite his amiable demeanor, Tessio's allegiance faces a severe test when he becomes entangled in a plot against the Corleone family, ultimately resulting in a devastating and fateful act of betrayal. Moreover, Vigoda is renowned for his roles in television series like Barney Miller, 1975-1982, and Fish, 1977-1978. On January 26, 2016, just one month shy of his 95th birthday, Vigoda passed away peacefully in his sleep at the residence of his daughter Carol Fuchs in Woodland Park, New Jersey, due to natural causes. Richard S. Castellano In The Godfather character of Peter Clemenza, he is depicted as a savvy and resourceful strategist. Overseeing a range of criminal enterprises while cultivating a tight-knit circle of associates. Clemenza's persona is defined by his charismatic and larger-than-life presence, blending charm, wit, and a pragmatic approach to his responsibilities. Additionally, he serves as a mentor within the family, offering guidance to younger members and sharing his insights into the ways of the mafia. Beyond his iconic role in The Godfather, Castellano achieved global recognition for his performance in Lovers and Other Strangers, 1970. Earning him an Academy Award nomination, he also made notable appearances on television, notably in the sitcoms The Super, 1972, and Joe and Sons, 1975-1976. Tragically, Castellano passed away from a heart attack at his residence in North Bergen, New Jersey, in 1988, at the age of 55. Morgana King Character Mama Corleone, the revered matriarch of the Corleone crime syndicate. Mama Corleone is portrayed as a commanding and dignified presence, earning both respect and authority within the family circle. Her character is imbued with strong principles and unwavering loyalty to her husband, Don Vito Corleone, and their children. She embodies traditional values and demonstrates a fierce dedication to safeguarding her family's interests. In addition to her role in The Godfather, Morgana King made an appearance in the film. A Brooklyn State of Mind, in 1997. Outside of her acting career, she enjoyed success as a professional singer, releasing her debut album titled, For You, For Me, Forevermore. 
King passed away at the age of 87 due to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in Palm Springs on March 22, 2018. Alex Rocco Character Mo Green, a dynamic and ambitious casino mogul based in Las Vegas. Renowned for his quick wit, keen business sense, and readiness to take calculated risks, Green's ambitions lead him to clash with the Corleone family over control of lucrative ventures in Las Vegas. Despite his initial confidence, Green's downfall stems from his overconfidence and avarice, as he underestimates the influence and resilience of the Corleones. Beyond his iconic role in The Godfather, Rocco remained active in the entertainment industry, appearing in various projects. Notably, in 2008, he starred in a Super Bowl commercial promoting the Audi R8 supercar, showcasing his enduring presence in popular culture. His final acting role came in the BBC Two drama episodes during the 2010s. Alex Rocco passed away on July 18, 2015, at his Studio City residence, succumbing to pancreatic cancer at the age of 79. Tony Giorgio Bruno Tattaglia, a key member of the Tattaglia crime family and the son of Don Philip Tattaglia. His involvement becomes pivotal in the intensifying conflicts between the Tattaglias and the Colleonas, particularly in their fierce competition for dominance in various illegal enterprises. Bruno's loyalty to his family is unwavering, and he demonstrates a willingness to employ violence and manipulation to advance their interests. Beyond his role in The Godfather, Tony Giorgio made notable appearances in several television shows including Mannix, Mission Impossible, Kojak, and The A-Team. On February 1, 2012, at the age of 88, Giorgio passed away due to heart failure. Vito Scotti Character Nazorin, a modest and industrious Italian immigrant who runs a small funeral parlor in the bustling streets of New York City. When his daughter falls victim to a vicious assault by a group of men, Nazorin turns to the Don for help in seeking justice. Despite his unassuming nature, Nazorin possesses a strong sense of dignity and pride. Refusing to tolerate injustice when it affects his family, Nazorin radiates warmth and authenticity and resilience of immigrant communities in America during that period. Additionally, Scotty made notable appearances in various films, including How Sweet It Is, 1968, the Oscar-winning comedy Cactus Flower, 1969, and his final role in Get Shorty, 1995. Sadly, Scotty passed away from lung cancer at the National Motion Picture and Television Home and Hospital in Woodland Hills, California, on June 5, 1996, at the age of 78. And there are still some other actors who have also passed away. Thank you for watching the entire video. Please leave your comments in the section below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Your support will not only help preserve their contributions to cinema but also allow us to delve deeper into the timeless allure of this cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for being a part of this journey with us. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.